Hello, hello. So today we're talking about 10 expert tips to establish your voice. Uh, so if you're here, if you're catching it live, say hashtag live. If you can hear me and see me, I think I just need to turn the volume a bit down so I'm not too loud. If you can hear me and see me, just um, tell me in the comments below. And if you're here and you're watching this on replay, say hashtag replay so that I know that you are here and watching and listening and that you can hear me. Uh, I just want to see if I can see myself. Um, all right. So today we're talking about your voice and um, how important it is for us to use our voices um, for the kingdom and for establishing our authority. Okay, just see here. Amazing. Let's refresh. All right, so hi, Unstoppable Faith in a Tribe. Um, I'm so happy to have you here. I'm happy that you are listening in. Um, say hi in the comments. Say hi and where you're from. All right, I can see myself. Let me just see if I can hear myself. Hi in the comments. Perfect. Perfecto. All right, I can see myself. So let me just see myself there and go back. All right, so um, I'm happy to see you all today. If you're joining live uh, or catching the replay so i believe that you're here for a reason i believe that god has something special for you so before we start let's get into a prayer and just set our hearts on the promises of god heavenly father we come to you today um, with humble hearts ready to receive lord we declare your promises over our lives as it is written in uh, my mission statement which is isaiah 61 lord that you has, have anointed us and qualified us to preach the gospel of good tidings to the meek, to the poor, to the afflicted. You have sent us to bind up and heal the brokenhearted. Lord, we receive your anointing today um, as we find our voices, as we use our voices to heal, to speak boldly in your name. Amen. All right, and I declare over you today that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139 verse 14. Your voice is powerful. It will not return to you void. The Lord is establishing the work of your hands. And you will speak words of wisdom, words of love, filled with grace and filled with truth. Okay. Right, and it's saying slow connection, so I hope that this message is going to come through. So um, I've recently been reflecting on some powerful prophetic voices. So I love listening to Lana Vosser. I love listening to Nick Vermillion, Craig Cooney, Nathan Christ Christy Johnson. And I want to share some of those with you today because these words really align with um, my mission um, and also with your calling, with um, using your voice and stepping out into your calling boldly. So Lana Vosser um, has recently shared a word about unveiling of voices in this season, that God is actually bringing clarity and courage to those who have felt silenced um, or, or unsure in their purpose. So she spoke uh, of a fresh anointing coming upon God's daughters, anointing that will release new authority and new platforms. Um, and I believe many of you here today are part of that unveiling. Hi, Magda. All right. So um, Nick Vermillion says um, he's speaking about a shift in the atmosphere, a new sound rising from the hearts of believers. He prophesied that this, this is a time to roar uh, with our unique voices, to speak the truth boldly and to impact the nation. So if you feel a, a stirring in your spirit, it is time to lean into it. Craig Cooney talks about um, stepping into unusual favor in this season. So doors opening that you never thought possible. Acceleration in the areas where you have been um, obedient. And if you've been waiting for your moment, the Lord says your wait is over. Speak and watch as he multiplies your impact. 
And I think Christy Johnson shared about hidden ones being revealed. So those who have been faithful in the secret place, your time is coming. God is amplifying voices that are rooted in truth, in authenticity, and in love. It is time to be seen and heard for His glory. So I don't know about you, but that makes me very excited. And I know that the Lord has anointed and appointed me to be here with you guys on the Unstoppable Faith Pinot Tribe to help you to find your voice, to find your tribe, because there are people that are crying for your solution, people that desperately need your message, and we need to stop hiding because God has called us. You know, the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. So, yeah. Um, so the season is a season of purpose for us, and I want you to really tap into this prophetic um, momentum, um, and today I'm sharing 10 tips on how to establish your voice as a Christian woman expert. So we're here to find a tribe, to um, grow our impact, to earn our first 5K online, um, all while standing firm in our faith. So I want to hear from you guys. Type I'm ready in the comments if you are ready to find your voice and you're ready to make it count for the kingdom. Let's stir up some faith and excitement for what the Lord is um, busy doing in his kingdom. So number one is know your why. So your why is your anchor. Um, so why are you stepping out? Um, why do you want to share your voice? Do you want to inspire? Do you want to empower? Do you want to break chains? Hi Shantae. Um, so know your why. And um, for those of you that have been in the Unstoppable Faith Premier Tribe for a while, you know that my why is Isaiah 61. It is to proclaim freedom to activate women in their God-given calling. So what is your why? I want you to drop it in the comments. Why do you want to use your voice? Or why do you feel God is calling you to use your voice? So know your why. Number two. Um, is identify your audience so know who you are speaking to who are the people that you that you really feel called to reach what is their struggles what is their dreams that they aspire to you need to speak directly to their hearts you need to understand you know what keeps them up at night what is their problems what is their frustrations um, so that they when you talk they feel seen and they feel heard so um, drop it in the comments below as well who do you feel called to serve? Let me know in the comments. Who do you feel called to serve? So I serve Christian women experts to find their voice, find their tribe and to sell their expertise online using Facebook so that they can earn their first 5k online. So who are you called to serve? Tip number three is to embrace your authenticity. So just be yourself. Um, God has made you unique for a reason. Don't try to copy someone else's voice. Speak from your true self. Um, even though you've got quirks, you've got flaws, all of that. Um, you are a package deal and you need to kind of just embrace who you are so that you come across as authentic and people get to know you for who you really are because that is where the power is. Um, and, you know, when I first started out, um, I think I felt, um, I felt that I should maybe copy people because I didn't know what to do myself. Um, but God showed me throughout my journey that um, my authenticity is where my anointing flows. And um, there was this quote that said um, something about, um, run little race horse, run your race, you know, don't, don't look to the left or to the right, just run your race, run the race that God has placed in front of you, like have that um, folders on your eyes so that you don't look to what other people are doing, but that you speak the message that God places on your heart. And I truly believe that when you spend time in God's presence, that uh, he really uses an anointing. And when people spend time with you, that anointing flows through you. So spending time in God's presence, soaking it all in, getting an abundance of oil so that it overflows into the people that is surrounding you, so that it overflows into your voice. Um, and then people get healing when they come to you. People get restoration when they come to you because you are soaked in the presence, not because you are so great. It's because the presence of God just oozes out of you and people really can feel and... Um, 
you know, experience him through um, you being filled with the Holy Spirit. So um, number four is creating value. So um, ask yourself, um, how can I serve today? What can I give people? Um, how can I share insight, encouragement, practical tips, anything that blesses or empowers someone else? Because even if you look at Jesus, you know, he was the ultimate servant leader. He washed feet on the last day that he had, um, you know, the last day that he was going to be crucified. He washed his disciples' feet. So, um, you know, what? think about what is one piece of advice or insight that has really changed your life recently um, and share it with your audience. Share it below. What What is one piece of advice that you can really give someone else? Um, <clears throat> all right. So um, I hope you're finding it valuable so far. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. What is resonating with you guys the most from what I'm saying? What are you hearing that is a ringing a little bell for you? All right. Um, so if you want to, if you're listening to this on um, Facebook, so hi in the comments. If you are listening to this in um, on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe and share button or whatever, share button. You can't share it on Facebook because it's in the group, but the like and subscribe button if you're on YouTube. If you don't know that I've got a YouTube channel, you can search for the Unstoppable Faith Drenier Tribe on YouTube um, and subscribe there. All right. So um, number five is be consistent. So... Um, our voice grows stronger with consistency. The more we show up, the more we go live, the more we speak about, you know, what our expertise is. I always um, talk to my clients and I say that you demarcate a certain piece of real estate in terms of intellectual property when you start speaking up, when you start sharing your message, when you start sharing your expertise. So what is that? Um, and share it consistently so that your audience knows that whenever they come to you, they, they know they're coming for this kind of information because that is what you're an expert in. So, and that is how you build trust. That is how you build a lasting impact. So, um, a big tip is committing to showing up every week. And I know, I know it's not easy in the beginning. Um, it's hard in the beginning, but make a commitment to show up even through posting or through telling a story or a live session. And even if um, it's hard for you to go live, then write something. So people who um, are afraid or scared to go live, um, I would say create long form, long form um, content. So blog posts or long form Facebook posts um, at least twice a week where you share your expertise, share your voice, share your skills, your thoughts. Um, because that's how you become a thought leader is people reading your stuff, people listening to you, people listening to your voice. Um, and um, it's the same as when Jesus speaks to us and he says, my sheep know my voice. Now your ideal clients will get to know your voice as well as you become a speaker for what God is speaking into your heart, into your mind. Um, and you relay that to the people that are following you. So consistency is very important. And then number six is sharing personal stories. So um, don't just talk about your expertise, but share personal stories so people can really connect to you on a um, heart-to-heart -heart level because your story carries power. Um, so, you know, share the good, but share the bad and the ugly too. Don't just be like one-dimensional where people think, okay, she's just perfect, she just can get everything done. No, show up when you're vulnerable, show up when you're sad, when you're happy, when you're excited, uh, when you're experiencing deep emotion. That is when it's a great time to share with your audience because then it comes through authentically and people can really see your personality through your content. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if I just think about sharing my voice, when I started on this journey in 2016, I didn't even felt, feel that I was worthy of being in a conversation, talk, speaking up in a conversation. I thought like, felt to me like people were bored. People got like bored when, when they spoke, uh, when I spoke up in a conversation. And today people pay me 
you know, for the, the value that I bring to the hour, for the thought leadership, um, they pay for my programs. Um, and the difference is just that I showed up consistently. I developed my message over time. I prayed about it. I, I uh, declared God's word over my voice and over my message and, and um, for furthering the kingdom. I mean, it's not just about me. It's about the purposes of God. It's about affecting people for the kingdom. It's about being that vessel, that conduit for the Holy Spirit to do um, his work. All right. So, yeah, obviously God turned that around for me. But, yeah, share your personal stories. And then um, an important thing that I talk about in the Rock Bottom to Rock Solid um, five-day training, and if you haven't done that training yet, please go and do that because it's free and it's available on my website. You can check it out at yonaratoy.com. Um, but there's a free... Um, five-day course on rock bottom to rock solids and it's all about developing your expertise about how do we you know walk in what god has called us for on in our calling and our expertise so go and uh, go through that course uh, invest in learning and growing in your field i made a, um, a note for myself i was listening to a mentor today and she said you do not create a successful business in a vacuum and that is so so true is if you want to try and figure everything out yourself without getting coaches, without getting mentored, you are going to take 10 times more time. You are going to fail many times. So stop wasting time. Um, take this calling seriously that the Lord has placed on your heart and on your mind. Um, and get mentorship. Get someone who can teach and coach you on this. So um, position yourself as the go-to expert expert by sharing what you learn but also um lock arms with mentors and and coaches and stuff above your level so that they can pull you up so that they can exponentially uh, multiply you know what you're doing so um yeah tell me in the comments below um what is one thing that you feel led to grow in in this season what is one area that you feel led to grow in in this season and i'm not sure if i can actually see the comments coming through let me just check if i see something on my facebook aha uh -huh. you see i couldn't see it here so shante says um women who need a beautiful way to heal what is hurting yeah and just we always undervalue ourselves that's true shante so true okay all right so um Tip number eight is utilize engagement tools. So um, Facebook has many features. You can ask questions in Facebook. You can do a Facebook poll. You can host a challenge. You can create interactive content to create a dialogue with your audience. I mean, that's what I'm doing with you now. I'm showing up live. I'm asking questions and we are interacting with each other while we are going live. So, um, yeah, so... Uh, what is one burning question that you would ask your audience today? What is one burning question that you would ask your audience today? And so you can type it below. And I also want you to ask your audience. Ask the people that you want to um, be a voice for, that you want to lead. Um, and get their feedback. Because with feedback, we understand our audience better. We know their needs better and what we want to create for them. Um, and what would serve them well. Number nine is be bold in your messaging. So speak with authority and courage. Your message carries power that God has given you. Um, carries the power of God's truth. So um, I often talk about your your the crushing, the crushing periods. We all go through adversities and things in our life that crushes us. And people call it the furnace, people call it the valley, people call it the crushing. But just like an olive, if you take an olive and you crush it, there's an oil that comes out. That oil is the anointing oil. Um, and that anointing oil becomes healing oil for someone else's life. Um, and that oil is expensive. Uh, do you remember the, the story about when, when the uh, woman poured that oil, that nard oil, over Jesus? And the disciples got uh, upset and they said, this is a year worth of wages. You know, that's the price of these, this oil. Why is she just wasting it, pouring it out over Jesus? 
And that's what I want to say to you is the crushing was expensive. It cost you something. Um, and through that adversity, through that hardships, you have developed unique skills, unique tools to help other people, to heal other people, to set captives free. So don't discard um, the tools that God gave you, the the challenges and the setbacks that he's put you through. Oh, who's that guy that says, do not trust a leader without a limp? Don't trust a leader without a limp. So we've all had adverse experiences, all had hard times. And that is what shapes our message to be um, to release someone else in that situation. right? Because it gives us unique compassion to help people that has been through the same kind of things that we've been in. All right. Um, so be bold in your message. Uh, Proverbs 28, 28, 1 says, the righteous are bold as a lion. So your voice is meant to roar with confidence and grace. Okay. And tip number 10 is pray over your voice. So cover your voice in prayer daily. Ask the Holy Spirit to anoint your voice, your words, um, and to guide your message to those who need it most. I often pray, Lord, put a coal uh, you know, a coal and burn, uh, burn away impur impurities from my lips so that I don't speak stuff that is not what he wants for my audience to hear. Um, so pray about your voice. Um, and if you commit to praying your voice daily, type in the chat for me, amen, in the comments below. Just want to see again if I can see the comments. All right. Shantae says, my, my question will be, how long before we change our life for the better instead of waiting for change? Yes. Beautiful, Shantae. Amazing. All right. Okay. So um, we've covered 10 expert tips to help us to establish our voice. We talked about knowing your why. We talked about identifying your audience. We talked about uh, uh, embracing your authentic uh, authenticity. We talked about creating value. We talked about being consistent. We talked about sharing your stories. Uh, we talked about developing your expertise. We talked about utilizing engagement tools on social media. I mean, um, I ask my clients this often. What is in your hands? When Jesus had the disciples and the disciples looked at Jesus and said, Lord, there's 5,000 people. They're hungry. What do we do? Do we send them home? We don't have food for them. Lord, what are we going to do? And then Jesus looked at them like, what's in your hands? What's in your hands? And that is what I ask you today. What is in your hand? Do you have Wi-Fi? Do you have internet? Do you have a smartphone? Well, then you don't have an excuse, girlfriend. You have a voice. You have a message. You have healing, anointing oil that needs to go out to the people. So stop playing small. Start being bold. Use your voice to heal others, to restore others. Um, let the Holy Spirit work through you. Be obedient. Be willing um, to walk in your calling. All right. Um, if you've got any questions, you can drop it in the comments below. If this session has blessed you, again, um, you know, tag your friends in here or, um, you know, like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Um, but you're on. Um, let's uh, build a community and let's grow this impact together. Let's uh, further the kingdom by really using our voices. And I just want to, in closing, um, share this word of Lana Vosera that, that she's just emailed this. And I want to um, just read it for us. She says, um, her, her prophetic word for today, she says, my people, I see many of you in this season who are still feeling deeply weary. I see many of you have been wearied from the war that you have endured on many fronts. But I say unto you, here is my rapid refreshment and rapid restoration of your resolve. By my spirit, I'm bringing forth a supernatural rapid refreshment to every part of you, to strengthen you, to fill you afresh. I'm bringing you into a supernatural strength in me that you have not known before. I'm bringing you deeper into the place of deeper encounter um, with who I am and my heart that is going to strengthen and refresh you. For there is a mighty tidal wave of my spirit being poured out upon you in this hour like a waterfall to wash away weariness. For many of you have been living weary 
for so long that you cannot remember what it was like to not live weary. I'm bringing forth rapid refreshment in this hour where I'm not only washing away weariness, but I'm infusing you with my strength to restore you in every way. Weariness has weakened resolve for many, and the enemy has come hard after you with weariness because he is after your resolve. He's after your faith. For I say unto you that in this hour I'm raising up an army who are ferociously focused on me and living by faith and not by sight in unprecedented ways. And the enemy has been doing all that he can to weaken your resolve. But I see so many in this hour that even in your weariness and exhaustion, you have remained resolved even in a whisper. My people do not dismiss those whispers. For many have been so weary and has whispered to me, Lord, I've lost my roar. All I have is a whisper. But I say unto you that the whisper of my name moves mountains. And that's what I want to leave you with today. The whisper of his name moves mountains. Hi, Mickey. Thanks for watching. So um, be bold in using your voice. People are crying for a solution that you have. Um, ask the Holy Spirit. Pray over your voice. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what he wants you to share. Come into his presence. Get into the word so that you get that anointing oil, that healing power from the Holy Spirit. And you release that um, over the world with your voice. All right. So, um, yes, Shantai, the live will be on the page for later viewing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys for being here and thank you for watching. Um, I hope this word has blessed you and that you're going to use your voice for the kingdom. All right, ladies. Love you. Bye-bye.